Megan. I'm Sierra. And I'm Maggie. And, and we're from the Gymnastics too. too. Welcome to TC Tuesday. We did a video a little while ago called 10 Things That Gymnasts Are Doing Wrong. So, today we're doing 10 Things Cheerleaders Are Doing Wrong. So you guys really liked our last video, so of course we like to do a cheerleader version when you guys like the other version. So keep in mind, just like for the last video, while we are saying these are like wrong, you don't have to switch what you're doing. Mm -hmm. It's more like we're going to offer you more convenient alternatives. You can pick and choose what you like or don't like. Or if you think um, actually the first way is better or easier, you can go ahead and stick with that. <laughs> Before we get started, make sure you guys subscribe to our channel by clicking the red button down below. Also, make sure you click the bell icon down below to become part of the notification squad. And also, quick social media shout out that always like plays in the beginning, but make sure you guys follow our Instagram, our Twitter, and all of our personal accounts. They're, They're always linked snazzy. in the description down below. Got really good themes, so you guys should check them out. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started with the video. So the first mistake is if you're a flyer and all you're doing is squeezing. Yes, squeezing is very important. It's going to help your bases a lot, but if you don't have any like center of gravity, you're not going to really know how to actually balance. So something that's helped me and Sierra is being told to almost like fold your body in half. I know that sounds weird, but you're going to want to almost like fold in half. And so that's going to be your center of gravity. Here's kind of what we mean as far as like pulling in front and then returning back to normal. So obviously the point of hairspray is to hold your hair in place. A lot of times cheerleaders are going to use this for competitions. However, if you use dry shampoo, it's also going to hold your hair in place. And the good thing about dry shampoo is that it doesn't make your hair hard, which I hate. So I think this is really helpful to know if you want to try it out and see if it works for you. Next we have hunching your back. If you're a base, you definitely do not want to be doing this. It's not good for your back and you're probably going to get pain later if you keep doing that. So in order to fix this, you're going to want to make sure you sit back further and then also pull your chest up so you're standing up tall. It's really important to keep your back straight so you're not going to hurt it when you're stunting. So this one's actually useful to just anyone that might be injured. I think that these hard ice packs are more common than they should be. They're not very effective because they don't ice the whole injured area. So it's great if you use the more malleable ice packs because they're more effective and they can cover more, they're easier to use. However, even if you don't have one of these, you can actually DIY your own. Um, I'll link the thing that I found on Pinterest below, but it's using really simple household ingredients and you can make an ice pack at home. So this one is definitely not a huge deal, but that means it's also super easy to fix. So if you have your hands in fists, you do not want to have your thumbs straight out. It just doesn't look as good. It's not as clean. So that's why you're going to want to tuck them in and make sure they're bent so that you have like the normal big cinnamon rolls. It just looks better and it looks cleaner. Another stunting mistake is actually arching your back too much, so it's kind of the opposite of what we talked about before. Again, this is going to cause back pain. Look, looking at this just hurts my back. It's going to be a lot worse if you're actually holding someone up. So you want to make sure when you're stunting, you get underneath the stunt so you can straighten your back out and also pull your core in tight. I actually think this one is really common. I see it a lot between cheerleaders and gymnasts, and that is jumping before your actual jump. So this is going to be less effective. You're using your energy and power before you're even jumping. So you want to make sure that you're actually just standing still. You can go up on your tippy toes if you want, but make sure you're actually just saving your power until you actually jump. Taking out the extra jump also just makes timing easier and it's going to look more uniform as a team. If you're a base, the last thing you want is to get your fingers caught in the laces of your flyer because, ouch, that would probably hurt if they get caught in your cradling. So a simple way to fix this is by tucking in the flyer's laces so that way there are no laces sticking out for anyone's fingers to get caught in. It's really easy. All you have to do is tuck your laces in and then all of a sudden there's no more problem. Here's another quick thing that you might be doing wrong but it's also super easy to fix. Make sure that when you're cleaning, you have your hands and fingers together and not apart. It looks cleaner in general, so that is why it's preferred. The very last one we had for you guys is stunting with your arms. 
So what we're showing here is a really over exaggerated version of just stunting with your arms and not using your legs. It's going to be much harder because you're using your arm strength, which is going to be weaker than your legs. So make sure you're starting with your knees bent and actually using them to help you get the flyer up into the air. If you guys liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Our like goal for this video is going to be 15,000 likes. And don't forget to comment down below which of these you think is like the best one. Which thing do you think you should switch? Like, did we blow your mind on any of these doing things? Right. And we'll see you next Tuesday. Bye. Bye.